A reassuring wipe of her son's cheek, and Kate introduced Prince George to the Southern Hemisphere. Concentrating on carrying her eight-month-old down the steps, the windswept Duchess also had to contend with the weather. Prince George, by comparison, appeared unfazed, seemingly eager to meet his first foreign prime minister, as this historic royal tour finally got underway. Fidgeting in his mother's arms, it was as if the third in line to the throne was keen to get going. A reassuring tap from Dad, Prince William, and then, facing forward, Prince George's first overseas royal wave to those of this faraway British realm. Following close behind the family of three, an entourage of many. Private secretaries, police protection officers, and of course, Prince George's new nanny, Maria Barolo. But it was the Australian media hours before who'd spoiled the carefully choreographed start to this tour, cameras capturing the royal family in the Sydney airport transit area before boarding the Royal New Zealand Air Force flight to Wellington. Fierce, intimidating. A traditional Maori warrior welcome for the royal couple at Government House in Wellington. Designed to work out whether the British visitors were friend or foe, it was left to the Duke to stare out his host. It was perhaps a good thing that by now Prince George 
was safely hidden away with his nanny. William and Kate will operate a hub-based tour, which means they'll travel in and out of cities in Australia and New Zealand to minimise the impact on their son. Nights away from him kept to a minimum, but they also know they have to manage his introduction to two countries where one day he will be king. This tour will focus heavily on Prince George, and so there was a flurry of excitement as a baby appeared at the window of Government House. But George it was not, instead maybe a playmate for the toddler for the duration of his stay. William, Kate and George will disappear from view for the next 24 hours as they catch up on a little sleep and prepare for the young prince's first public engagement here on Wednesday. Paul Harrison, Sky News, New Zealand.